Hello. Welcome to this video, which is an introduction to how you can make effective use of library search when you're researching a topic. For this video, we're going to use communication skills as our example topic. Library search is where you can find books, including ebooks and journal articles. The main advantages of using it are that it gives you off campus access to our resources. It gives you an easy way to connect to high quality academic information and it allows you to keep track of your favourites. So let's take a look. So here you can see that I've already looked on library search for communication and I have an awful lot of hits. I can make this more manageable by being more specific, such as by adding the word health to my search. Alternatively, I could have added the name of a profession such as nursing or midwifery or physiotherapy. Immediately, you can see that this has made a big difference. If I'm looking for books, I use the options in the left hand column. You can see I've found 200 books and nine eBooks. If I want a book from the shelves, I just click the name of my campus library. If I want eBooks, I click, well, eBooks. If I do that, I get a list of the relevant books and I can click on the links to access them. When it comes to journal articles, it's a little bit more complicated. Even if I use the options in the right hand column to narrow it down to academic journals, I still get hundreds of thousands of hits. So I need to be a bit more specific. Library search is looking through the title and description of each item to find things which might be relevant, so it often finds quite a lot. Journal articles are often a lot more specific than books are, so it makes sense to make the words you search with more specific as well to focus your search. You could choose a particular health condition, such as communicating with dementia patients, or a particular profession, or a particular aspect of communication, which is what I'll do here. I've decided to be much more focused and look for information on body language. So I've put body language health in and narrowed it down to journal articles. I probably wouldn't find a whole book on body language for healthcare professionals, but there are plenty of articles. Remember, sometimes there are different words you could use which mean similar things. For instance, if I search for non-verbal communication health, I get a completely different set of results. It's often worth trying a couple of different words or phrases when you search. I've still found quite a lot of articles, but nowhere near as many as before. I can now narrow my search down further using other options from the right hand column. The most useful one of these, I think, is the date, because this allows me to choose the most up to date research, really important in the health professions. You can now look through the list to choose the articles you'll read. Each article will tell you useful information such as the date it was published and which journal it's from. Clicking the title takes you to the abstract, which is really helpful. This is a fairly short summary of the article, which can help you decide whether or not to read the whole thing. You can then click view content to get links through to the articles you want to read. If you're off campus and you have trouble accessing them, there are some useful guides available through the library search homepage, which can tell you how to solve this problem. So here are my top tips from what you've just seen. Think about the words that you use to search with as they make a big difference to your search. If you don't quite find what you're looking for, switch to some different words and try again. And be quite broad with your words when you're looking for books and more narrow when you look for articles. The weirdest thing that you have to remember is that if you're looking for books, you need to use the options in the left hand column. And if you're looking for articles, use the options in the right hand column. So there you have it. Effective searching using library search. Give it a go and feel free to ask for help in the library if you get stuck.